This food is shit. You do not come to space for fine cuisine, Michel. Then what do you come for? Me? Is not obvious? I come for ladies! You talking shit again, Andre? Da? Ginny, why did you come to space? Uh, because too many people told me I couldn't. Hmm. So you did it because you could, huh? Isn't that why we do anything? Why they built the space station? Why we're building another one? They're talking about decommissioning Mir. Good. This place is the worst. Uh, who is talking shit now? And right on cue. Another surge? No. No, I, I don't think so. Locally, did not lose connection. Ah, uh, Shlula Vakshul Naja. What? What's this shit? Ha, ha, Michelle. I do not have time for your pranks right now. It's not me. It is joke. Has to be. Russia or NASA thinks it's funny. No, NASA would never joke like this. And I highly doubt the Russian space agency would either. Then some kid in mom's basement or something. I I've been tricked before. Steel. Hey, convinced? How did they respond so fast? We should consult mission command before response. No, we could miss our chance. Hey, we don't have time for that. This, this is what we train for. You train for this? Greetings from the people of Earth. Moscow Mission Command, this is Mir Space Station. Come in over. It's almost 3 a.m. there. Should we try the Americans? Not yet. Someone will be on duty. They can fake others. Yes. Um, uh, we've made contact with something. Earth is what we call our planet. Um, unsure. The honor is ours. May we ask, how are you communicating with us over our computer? Is that the first question you ask alien race? We have to make sure this is real, okay? Uh, yes, we seem to have made contact with an alien race of some sort. They're, they're talking to us in a chat room on our computer. No, it's not a chat room. What the hell do you call it then? The hell does that mean? Compatible with our biology. That sounds like they're here, right? That doesn't sound like they're communicating remotely. in our space station. Negative. We don't see how it's a joke. Uh, the responses are too fast. Yet, I have seen movies like this. I do not like. Okay. They will tunnel into brains and take okay, over okay. bodies. Calm down. How did you travel here? Where are you from? No, I haven't seen Star Trek's The Next Generation. Can you get someone else I can speak to, please? What they are saying now? They travel along light rays and enter the station to make contact. Where are you physically located right They now? travel using light. Uh, how is possible? Is not, right? Just because we don't understand it doesn't mean it's not possible. They're probably much more advanced than us. Damn right this is a big deal. That's why I asked for someone else. Go get your boss. Hmm? Fucking guy. Vacuum of space? They leave in space? No 
I am done. I am fucking done. Turn it off. Use your head, Andre. Turning it off doesn't get rid of them. It's our only means of communicating. And they... They seem friendly. We can't ruin this. They said they're inside our computer, and now they're asking why we built permanent structures around our planet. What do we say to that? We look for a boundary between the solar system and the interstellar medium, and voyage on forever in the dark between the stars. Damn, that is good. <laughs> it's Carl Sagan. He should have been the one to make first contact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, uh, that is correct. Well, they made contact with us. Uh, apparently, they are living in our computer and travel on beams of light. Yes, I understand that. Y you'll just have to see the transcript. Now they're asking if we're expanding our reach into space. They make it sound like we're imperialists. Oh. The mission director says to tell them greetings from the people of Earth. Yeah, I already said that. Tell him to go back to bed. We are trying to understand the universe and our places. Um, yes, sir, she's typing it now. Sounds like they are tonic on us. I, I think it's just a language barrier. They're probing us with questions and sometimes that can... What's going on? He's life support alarm. O okay, seal off the core module. Oxygen lowering in this quadrant. Rerouting. He's stabilizing, but we are still losing air everywhere but here. Are, are you doing this? Are you venting our air? Holy shit. Why? We mean you no harm. What the hell is that? It's them. I think we're making visual contact. They vented oxygen from the docking module and are presenting themselves in almost human form. Please. Please. Don't do this. Okay, we're not dangerous. We can live in peace. Apparently now they want to kill us because they cannot allow us to expand further into the universe or something. All we want is to learn about other life forms. Please don't do this. Please. Okay, we stretch our reach to better understand the universe and our place in it. Please, please don't do this. Not looking good. We are still losing oxygen. What do we do? I'm pretty sure they want to kill us. We're losing oxygen at an alarming rate now. And they found pictures of our wars and stuff. Mird. They, they were gonna shut it down? Shut down Mir. It's been talked about, but what does that okay, happen? Okay, what was the decommissioning plan? You mean decayed orbit? A controlled crash? You want to crash Mir? Okay, we're dead either way. We can't survive up here, and they can't survive down there. Looks like we're considering a controlled crash into Earth. The aliens cannot survive in our atmosphere. Any thoughts? Over. Okay, do we have other options? Let us do it. They're so saying not to crash the space station into Earth. Fuck those guys! Do not want to die up here! Would rather die down there, but... It needs to be unanimous. Well... I guess we'll be remembered for this at least, right? Can we do it from here? Da? We do it in three stages. Use boosters for atmospheric re-entry. Once we start to break apart, full-on push by blowing all air at starboard side. 
Zane? He drop? Okay. Aim for an unpopulated area. Pacific Ocean is probably best. Who would have thought our first interaction with an alien species would end up like this? H.G. Bells, Ridley Scott, James Cameron, Don Siegel, Ed Wood. Oh no. What? I just remembered the last thing I will ever eat is rehydrated green beans. <laughs> Did not even get to choose last meal? I always said the space program was worse than prison. Yeah, maybe in France. Going into low drag orbit. Please, spare us. Why did you come to space, Michel? Because... somewhere... something incredible is waiting to be known. <laughs> <laughs>